Let's go to 2 Corinthians 9, 6 through 8. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. So this is talking about helping people and stuff like that. But this I say, he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly. So what does that mean? Have you ever heard of you reap whatever you sow? Do you know what that means? So whatever you do, you are going to get back what you put in. So every time when you do evil, you are going to get evil back. Anytime when you do good, you are going to get good back. Actually, the way that things are, you are going to get more of what you put in. So if you are doing good for people, more good is coming to you. If you are doing evil to people, more evil is coming back to you. Does that make any sense? But this I say, he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly. So when you do good things but not that much, not that much is coming back to you. Okay. And he which soweth bountifully much shall reap also bountifully. So when you do good things, a lot of good things for people, more good things are going to come back to you. That should really make sense. Hey Kevin, I want more good things to happen to me. So what should I do? What should I do? Do more good things for people. Whatever you want to happen to you, do it to that person or for people. That should really make sense there. Okay. Seven, every man according as he purposeth in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity. Give me a second, please. Okay. Verse seven, every man according as he purposeth in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver. So, do things out of the kindness of your heart, not because you are pushed to do it, not because you want others to do the same for you. For instance, there are people who give with strings attached, like, hey, I am going to do this good thing for you only because I know in the near future I am going to need your help. So let me do this for you so I will force you to do something for me. Strings attached. Don't do that. You are going to cut off your blessing if you do things in that way. You should do things out of love, not because you want to string somebody along, forcing them to do something for you. That is evil. Verse 8, And God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that ye always having all sufficiency in all things. So you may be lacking in food. You may be lacking in rent money. You may be lacking in something that you need done. So when you help people, help is coming back toward you. So if you want something done, do it for other people. How can you say you want people to help you, but you are not willing to help other people? How can you be selfish and expect God to bless you? Makes no sense. Because the way that you are, you are going to reap whatever you sow. So the more selfish you are, the more selfish things that are going to happen to you. How can you get the opposite of the way that you are? You are evil, selfish, and stuff like that, but you expect God to give you something that you don't deserve. That should really make sense there. I want blessings, but I am a selfish person. <laughs> How does that sound? 
I am selfish, but I want God to bless me. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. May abound to every good work. So, I really hope this makes sense. I'm serious. You reap whatever you sow in all things and everything. You are going to reap whatever you sow. Whatever you do, it is going to come back to you. No matter if it is evil or good. So really take heed to this. God bless.